Okay, so I just want to show you something. Um, okay, uh, see this weather forecast here? Uh, this is for Seven Hills in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Um, you notice today uh, the forecast is for sunny with a few clouds. Okay, I see no little raindrops. I see no raindrop like graphics on these clouds for today and for tonight. Okay, now if you look at 1 p.m., there was rain. Um, that they changed that. Uh, there was <laughs> because I checked. We had a rain bomb um, and some thunder, and it was just a cloud with the sun. And now it's a cloud with rain coming out of it. But anyway, uh, it's now 4 p.m. And as you can see, that cloud there, didn't mean to push that, has no rain coming out of it. We just had another rain bomb, lasted about 20 minutes. So anyway, my point being, uh, check this out. I'm doing this on my phone, so we'll see how we go see if that stays all right I'm just gonna refresh it okay this is where I am okay during the flooding a couple of weeks ago uh, the Parramatta River was flooded okay so make a note of that uh, Sydney is is uh, has a massive radar um, frequency controlling the weather, which uh, you can see. Uh, I'm showing you that now. Um, the lines on the, that map, the circles on the map, that's what the radar covers. Uh, it's my theory uh, in all the research that I've done that um, these radars that are over the cities like this um, hold frequencies in a certain way um, and that's why people all over the world uh, in cities all over the world are seeing the same patterns um, in different areas they're seeing the same patterns in the sky the same sort of manipulation around these patterns in the sky it's all about the manipulation of the of the chemicals that they've put up there and the chemical reactions that are going on up there um, and the, the, the deception, the holograms, all of that. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to do a quick weather report. Um, uh, I also think that these radar circles over the cities like this, are what they are telling us in shows like um, Under the Dome, um, for example, uh, that... Uh, people misinterpret that as um, them telling us that the earth is flat with a dome over it. I think that's completely wrong. Uh, I think this is what they're telling us. Um, the deception uh, from ground level, what they're doing up there with these radar thingies um, and the frequencies makes it look like we are under a little dome a little energy dome and that's why people are seeing the same shapes everywhere like I mentioned before and it's like uh, we're under little separate domes not on a flat earth but on a globe that has manipulated weather that's just my theory but anyway I wanted this to be quick so that's the rain bomb there and if you notice here, I'll just go centre screen so it's easy to see, easy to know where I'm talking about. Windsor was one of the worst affected areas uh, with the flood a couple of weeks ago. 
heavy rain. Warragamba Dam uh, was spilling during the flood uh, and um, there was a risk of contaminated water. The water is now contaminated and unsafe uh, from the dam uh, all the way down, all the way down the river. Um, yeah, so I thought that was interesting, the flooding uh, areas affected Warragamba Dam through Penrith, through Richmond, Windsor, Wiseman's Ferry, all along there. Uh, Parramatta River flooded. Um, it's a very hilly area uh, in here so and I'm uh, I wouldn't say on a hill, I'm on the side of a hill. Um, yeah so uh, I was I was safe um, but uh, there was a risk of, it's not on this map, um, uh, underneath the, the Blacktown Square, underneath that, because it in, it's in the Blacktown area, um, there was also a risk of uh, um, water reservoirs and catchments on the other side of me. Um, like opposite to all of this that was going on in the West. Um, on the other side of me, there was a, also a risk uh, of all of that flooding um, and the rain stopped before that got really bad. Yeah, so anyway, just a few thoughts. Um, the rain seems to be uh, intentionally directed to areas that have suffered already very recently. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to say that. Okay, um, please be safe out there, guys. Um, and uh, please forgive me for not um, keeping in touch and communicating like I used to. Um, I know we're all struggling and part of my struggle uh, is um, what I was struggling with before I uh, actually started communicating on social media. It's the same thing. I'm suffering from the same thing now, blocks. Um, uh, not knowing how to express myself um, I know it's I know it's fear. I know it's something I have to overcome. Um, uh, going on to social media in the first place, uh, going on to YouTube in the first place, that was conquering uh, that fear, and I've let it come back um, just just from um, uh, post post traumatic stress and um, just feeling down. Uh, and having no energy um, so yeah so I'm working on that um, it's it's a it's a big issue um, with me so please forgive me um, I don't deliberately not communicate with people it's just I don't know how to describe it it's like there's a block um, I've, I've gone I'm very introverted um, person and yeah, so communication is hard. Um, uh, you might think it's easy because I'm doing live broadcasts uh, with desert all the time, but um, that's I don't know. That's different. That it that that's different. <laughs> um, I get very nervous and anxious before every single one of them, but um. I don't know. That's different. Does it makes it makes it easier? Uh, yeah. So anyway, um, hope you're all safe out there, uh, and love you guys, and always creating light for you. Um, okay. Be safe, please. See you.